Normal hyaline cartilage is very anechoic, meaning that there are no echoes within it because it's mainly made up of water. We can see here the hyaline cartilage of the knee, and we see the dark outline of it as it goes in through the area of the trochlea. Above that, we see tendon and fatty tissue, which is bright on the image. Ligaments, as you're aware, run between bones. And ligaments typically appear hyperechoic on ultrasound, similar to a tendon. However, hypoechoic and hyperechoic are relative terms. So it really depends what tissues are surrounding the area. Sometimes the fat around the uh, joint can actually appear more or brighter than the ligament and make the ligament appear dark. Here we're looking at the ulnar collateral ligament, which appears as a bright fibular structure between the humerus and ulna. Now let's go through just a brief review of some of the things that we, were, that we covered earlier. Remember that one, the notch of the probe will be placed to the patient's right for a traditional image as this. When we examine a part, it's a good idea that we have a systematic approach. Either you should look at the structures from the bony cortex up or from the skin down. On this image, we see the skin at the top of the picture as this bright area just underneath the probe surface. There's a small dark area right in through here that represents a little bit of subcutaneous tissue. This patient has very little fat and consequently we don't see much of that, but it would appear dark. That bright line that we see here is actually the epimysium. Here we see the starry night appearance of muscle. Under that we see the transverse humeral ligament and deep to that is the biceps tendon and transverse. Here we see as a bright echogenic structure, the bony cortex, and beneath that is shadowing or reverberation phenomena, not actually useful image below the cortex of the bone.